Hi all, um, back again with another video. Um, okay, so today we're going to cover a little bit about the brake gear that's on the RCH wagon I've been doing. I think last time I did a video about it was the uh, the brake rack with all the holes in it for the brake handle <coughs> and the brake handle you know being in situ and stuff like that. So the other parts to that brake uh, to the brake system. And that wagon's independent, so it's got individual brakes on each side. And they're not linked through the middle because um, it's not running vacuum or anything like that, and it's not having clutches on it and stuff. <clears throat> so what I'm going to talk through. Obviously, you're going to want some brake blocks there. These are a PMP um, brake block, and they've got this little hook in the back. I don't know if you can see that that bit there. Um, that basically latches onto the flange of the wheel um, so when it's braking hard not that ours would brake that hard with being a, a manual brake they're only really there for parking although this video is going to be I'm going to show it rolling a little bit and then the brake being applied um, so but that hook there is that when the brake is being applied it doesn't push off the wheel tread itself because obviously the treads are cone shaped to the outside so that hook latches onto the back of the flange. So when the brakes uh, being applied, it, it slides away. It stops it sliding away. So that's that. Um, and then also you'll have some brake hangers, which are two. I do the laser cut hangers like that, and they'll go to a hanger bracket that's bolted to the underframe, and that'll hang the brake like so. So you can see that, and there'll be a, so I think I'll use 6BA bolt through there, like that, and then a bolt through the top there, at the top, and then you'll have two of these, <laughs> these are the push rods and they've got a multiple of holes at one end, two holes in the middle and one at the other. Now there's different shapes of these, depending on the wagon. So obviously you need to check that, but an RCH type is kind of very basic piece of steel like so. These are I have these laser cut as well. Um, so give me a shout or go to the, the web shop um, miniature middle and wagon works uk forward slash shop and they're listed on there to buy it as a set of four or a set of two if you want just two and doing it single break to one side. So you'll have a pair of those, they will then sandwich the brake block there okay so you'll have that one there another one the correct way up on there so they marry up and in the middle here these two holes here are for a spacing piece of wood or can be cylindrical spacers that the bolt will pass through and it holds that at the correct distance apart okay again check your wagon that you're doing on whether you'll have a wooden block in there or whether you'll have cylindrical spacers um, they're all different and then where the brake handle comes down and there'll be a shaft that goes in through the um, through the V hangers yeah this is a clutch type so it's got two holes um, if you was going to do it where it's single braked single acting basically you just hacksaw that bit out get rid of that and then you've just got a single hole at the bottom I do do a different variant of that as well um, so where the yeah the brake shaft goes through this bottom hole the brake handles going up to the brake rack that we've already covered and then you'll have a tumbler that sits in there now the tumbler's job is to turn your brake handle movement into push movement to the brake blocks so you'll have a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom, brake shaft in the middle. The hole at the top and at the bottom is for those to sit on, like so. And it's hard to balance up and show you, but that'll have a hole through the top like that. And these holes are for adjustment, so you can move the brake block closer or further away without changing the handle position. So you can move the brake block. As the brake block starts to wear, you can make the brake block come closer to the wheel. So that's what those holes are for. So the brake tumbler is sandwiched in there. Yeah, I do that as a laser cut as well. Um, and that all makes it 
actuate, yeah? So it's pushing the push rods, why well they're called push rods, which pushes the brake block against the wheel. Applies friction, slows your wagon down, or makes it stop completely, or, you know, just parking it up. Put the brake on it, like I've got a little stretch of track out in the outside, and it's got some little gradients and stuff there present in the sidings and I don't want the wagons to move so I just put the brake on pin it down that wagon's not going to move until such time as I drive the engine up and want to move it so we're going to go outside now and I'm going to push a wagon along gently on a little slope and I'm going to apply the brake for you all to see okay so here's the brakes all rigged up so you've got the brake handle, the brake rack, chain and pin, comes down, main shaft goes through the middle there, tumbler at the back, push rod, wooden spacer, brake block, brake hangers, another wooden spacer there, push rod, brake block, all there. So you can see how it's all going to work. If I take the brake off, the wagon starts to roll, if I apply it, it's not great pressure, only just touching it with my finger there. So the brake off, look. If you push it right down, obviously everything's going to get a bit of strain to it, but <clears throat> essentially it's not going to move at all. If you're just going to pin the brake on, you just lift the pin up to where you need it, to the corresponding hole, which is a bit of a fiddle one-handed. Push the brake down, put the pin in. That's not going to lift now on there and the brakes the, the wagon's not going to move take that out lift that up yeah if you're going to rack you're going to rack the actual arm up the top there that's what that little lip for was on the top okay very straightforward works very well there we are jobs are good and there we are so that's everything working <clears throat> a short video but straight to the point it shows you where everything goes as I say I'll do list uh, individual laser cut parts for the wagons on the website I'll put a link in the comments for you so you'll be able to just click on the link and it'll take you straight to the shop and you'll find a host of things in there I am updating it all the time as and what I've got in stock and what I haven't, there is some stuff that I'll just do to order. Um, so you just find me a message of what you want and I'll just ping that through to Ed, Model Engineer's Laser, and he'll cut it for me and then I'll ship it to you. So hope you find it informative. Um, fire the questions over if you've got any. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on the next video. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to cover on the next one, but you know, that's the brake gear sorted. And if you've got any questions about it, just fire them over. Thanks for watching.